I'm Dominic, and I'm here at the Great American Songbook Foundation with Songbook Academy alum Jelaine to talk to you about the songwriter Frank Lesser. And the thing that really strikes me about Lesser is that unusually, unlike most songwriters, the quality outweighs the quantity. Because, for example, he only wrote six Broadway shows or six shows that came to Broadway, and of those six, four of them were massive hits. So, guys and dolls how to succeed in business without really trying, which won the Pulitzer Prize for drama. Um, this is quite remarkable. It's like he had the ability to write to any story or situation with incredible um, quality. And the other thing that strikes me is that each show that he wrote is quite unlike the others. So if we think about the world of Damon Runyon that he conjures up in Guys and Dolls, it's very different from the song that we've just heard from The Most Happy Fella, which was a three-act musical, which took almost the form of an opera, and we can hear that the music is semi-operatic, although within the score as well, he also has real pop songs, so things like Standing on the Corner. Um, so each show has a really specific, particular kind of mood and style to it. And if we look here, we can see the sheet music for the original production of The Most Happy Fella, um, which originally had this design that you can see in the middle, this sort of yellow design, um, which didn't go down so well, and they decided to replace with the one on the left soon after it reached Broadway. And it's the one on the left that appeared on the album cover that became um, very famous. To end our video, I thought we would explore um, a song from a musical called Pleasures and Palaces, which never actually reached Broadway. It closed in, 1950, in 1965 in Detroit, and it was directed by Bob Fosse, who we know from things like Cabaret. And it was about Catherine the Great, the great Russian queen. And the score is, again, remarkably different from his other work, and yet because, for some reason, the alchemy that brings together different Broadway creatives wasn't quite working on this piece. It never made it to Broadway. It's never been performed in New York, but it has some really lovely songs. So to end, we're going to hear this song, which is called In Your Eyes. It's a really beautiful ballad and really takes Lesser towards more of a 1960s kind of harmonic style. You'll immediately hear how different this music sounds. And this is a real sign of the creativity of Frank Lesser. I have seen 